Hey everyone, it's DC here and today I'm going to tell you, can you get into cybersecurity without learning Linux? Raise it up! So can you get into cybersecurity without learning Linux? The, um, the too long didn't watch version is yes, but also not really at the same time. So let me explain. You can get into uh, sort of like the basic entry level positions without having uh, any knowledge of Linux. However, things are going to be really hard and you're probably going to have to lie on your resume to get that position anyway. With a lot of the courses like the uh, like Linux Plus is a really good one to start with, um, as well as like the A Plus as well. These are CompTIA certifications and um, yeah, they, they basically teach you the basics of Linux and how to get through and the things you need to know. In other courses like the CompTIA Security Plus, you're also going to be learning a little bit about Linux in there. Um, as well as in the CCMP, I believe, also has some Linux uh, or bash commands in there that you're going to need to learn. And it's, it's all really basic stuff like committing to Git and um, yeah, just things like that. So if I was you and I was looking to get into cybersecurity and I was thinking, oh, you know, should I learn Bash or slash Linux or, you know, should I do something else? Um, yeah, you, you should definitely learn some of the basics at least. And a good way to do this is to load up like an old computer or a virtual machine like VirtualBox or something on your uh, computer that you have now and just run Ubuntu or Kali Linux on, on there. They're both free to download. You can just install them straight off the ISO on the websites. That way you can sort of show that you have experience in Linux without having any qualifications or certifications in Linux. So that's, that's pretty much how I did it actually. When I first started out, I didn't have any certifications in Linux but I had previously been using Ubuntu on a laptop um, with a dual boot of Kali Linux as well. And I was sort of interested in learning how to hack and break into networks and things like that. So I, I started using Kali for that reason because it's, it's a distro of Linux with everything already built into it. So I didn't have to mess around too much. Um, and I was using Ubuntu as like my main operating system just because it is easy to use. Um, and it's fairly reliable. So I didn't want to like sort of mess around with trying to fix things. And I still had to do that though. Um, way back then, having drivers for graphics card on Ubuntu was a bit of a tricky thing to get around. So I had to work out how to get my uh, graphics card drivers working. But anyway, that's another story for another time. So yeah, if, if you're looking to get into cybersecurity and you don't want to learn Linux, um, maybe look at doing something else. Or perhaps you should uh, do what I did and you know load up Linux or any Linux distro on your computer in a virtual machine and start playing around with it there. Um, virtual machines are great because you're not really going to break anything on your computer. Um, you can always restore it from a, a previous state or just wipe it and start again. Alternatively, you can also do the certifications, the CompTIA uh, Security Plus, the CompTIA Linux Plus, um, or any of the free courses on Cybrary. Um, and there's another website that's quite useful called Peerlist, which is P-E-E-R-L-Y-S-T, I think. I'll find it and I'll, I'll link it in the description. But those, yeah, those are sort of where I would start. Um, or also just like YouTubing random tutorials on Linux and how to use, you know, really basic commands so that you can sort of find your way around and you know, just get the basics like apt get and you know, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's that's pretty much where I would start. So on the second part of this video, um, I just sort of wanted to get into my own sort of things and, and say, um, yeah, I've decided I am going to start doing some vlogs as well. Um, so just basic, you know, what am I doing today type stuff. So what am I doing? Well, it's Monday, I'm at work. Um, I've just finished going through my tickets and I've just gotten out of a meeting and now there's another meeting with everyone in there but I don't have to go to it, thank God. So that's why I'm out here making a video for you guys and yeah, 
That's, that's pretty much usually how my days go. Later this afternoon, I need to assist with a migration project. Um, it's just a bunch of network equipment. So I just need to check over a few things there and um, give some advice for those guys and then they'll they'll do the rest. That's that's not my job. I stay away from that sort of stuff. I'm just going to overlook it a little bit and give my input and then say lovey. That's that's me out of it. So as always guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you do like this content, don't forget to subscribe for more. Uh, leave a comment down below if you've got any questions for me and please give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel uh, sort of progress and get better. So thanks for that guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.